of the many flights over this area, the atmosphere was finally perfect. And I got to see past this Ashley National Forest, these mountain peaks that show up on the horizon to an incredible long distance view. Unbelievable, folks. Now, here's my flight. I looked it up. 1872, I flew back on Friday from Chicago. And right around that area, it opened up and it was super clear. The flight altitude, about 28,000 feet. Look how clear the sky is, uh, unbelievable, but yet there is that uh, all familiar haze, which is why I turn to infrared to see if I can pierce through. And uh, infrared is really powerful, and here's why. Due to its longer wavelength, infrared um, is less attenuated by the atmosphere. Also, near-infrared penetrates through the airplane window, so that's really useful. And we get more contrast from vegetation, and sky comes out dark, water dark. But then the most important is there's less refraction, therefore we see longer, because ground does not interfere, and that's very important. Here's kind of a general view from uh, Google Earth, and of course the Earth is not a globe, and uh, there's the Ashley National Forest, I finally got past it, which is what I always wanted to do. So get ready to have your minds blown. This ridge of white capped mountains are referred to as the Ash Ashley National Forest, but it's actually many mountains superimposed. And you can see this from Colorado, even. It is incredible. But um, watch as I zoom in. Um, I'm going to pick out some distant mountain, which just blew me away, folks. Um, look at this thing as we zoom in. There, there's obviously prominent peaks, and then look to the left, there is a very distant peak there, a whole mountain range. Oh my god, look at that relative motion of the ground, the foreground mountains move. That mountain range in the back, you know, overlaps like a smaller area in the foreground. Isn't that incredible? Using this motion, we can extract 3D photos, which I've done to analyze the depth. And those are super distant mountains. Look at that, just incredible. Here's another clip, and by the way, these clips are not necessarily in order. I kind of lost track. I processed three or four different sets of clips in uh, groups of two and three, and I kind of lost uh, the order. But um, again, the same incredible view, and look in the distance to the right. Okay, I guess here I'm going to zoom in a different direction. at that mountain ridge way in the distance. I had to use noise reduction and stabilization to actually get this incredibly clear view. Unbelievable. Look at that. And look to the right of jagged peaks. Wow. Man, as good as infrared is, you can still tell that there is uh, a drop which is virtual is because light is bending up and it gives us this view um, but we can do a lot better than visible that's for sure look at that it just gives me goosebumps to see all that far in the distance upon the flat earth just incredible folks just incredible Look at that, just look at this zoom. That's 
that's a very small mountain range way in the distance oh my goodness and then there's one to the right which i think is coming up here i made three separate compilation of my clips and they may not be in order um but they're over utah somewhere and here we go here's another one yeah there it is okay first i'm gonna zoom in on this peak and then to the left on the mountain range this is a prominent uh, peak here which can be seen from far away and kind of terminates the ridge of white capped mountains and now we're looking in the distance again at some distant peaks and look to the right the smaller white capped mountains oh my god it, this is incredible this is incredible yeah look at that unbelievable unbelievable see so look at the foreground shifting to the right it's not as pronounced in this clip as it was in the other one. Oh yeah, you can see the foreground cruising on to the right because we're flying to the left. And there is a prominent peak. And there's more mountain ranges in the distance. Look at that relative motion. And now, as we pan, it opens up into a very wide there you go wow you see that look at those peaks going way in the distance oh my goodness and here's the final clip I identified the location based on the erosion on the ground look at this that peak again that's kind of like my reference look how the foreground mountains are moving see this around the mountain to the right it's really cruising I identified that one I think so that's the problem with reaching out and seeing peaks it's very hard to identify where they're at and what they are I spent so many hours you know, <laughs> in um, where is it? Earth Pro? Google Earth Pro? Uh, I just gave up. They're just peaks. That one I was almost tempted to believe. I know what it is, but I'm not going to make any claims here. Because it's very hard to identify peaks. Um, it's better to be on the ground knowing where you stand and picking up aircraft because they transmit their location which is coming up that's my next project some of you that follow this channel have seen me show a uh, ADS-B phase array great things are coming folks um, if you haven't subscribed yet please uh, subscribe and make sure you're notified because once in a while I post a video <laughs> I've been really busy and uh, this pandemic turned my life upside down. But I'm back to a part-time sort of uh, business travel. And so I'll be bringing you more, you know, footage whenever I capture it. And um, yeah, look at this vastness. It's so incredible. Come on, let's zoom in. We're going to zoom in on the left now. There's that peak again. Tin, 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 tin. Yeah, look how the mountains are flying by in the foreground. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Look to the left in the back, how it kind of gets lost in the distance. And to the right, there's some white peaks there. That's incredible. 
just incredible folks the world is truly mysterious and even though we're seeing with our eyes of glory and by the way I have a video <laughs> from 2018 I think that was the last time I had a clear day over this area and back then I had a different camera but now I brought the camcorder so I could zoom in Oh, look at that and to the left we're gonna see some more distant see, there we go there we go there we go there we go come on where is it here we go here we go right there whoa right there just incredible folks well, I've learned from all my videos that the Earth is really flat and above we get a sense of a curved dome. It's due to refraction. Uh, Snell's law is on our side. When we look down at a steep angle to the surface, it shows up its true flatness. Now I'm going to leave you with this incredible 3D um, video I compiled. Uh, if you have glasses, you can feel the flatness of the ground. Have a good one, folks. God bless you.